All right, guys, so it has finally happened. Uh, Lost Origin booster boxes are sold out on the Pokemon Center USA. Um, what do I want to say about this? I mean, not surprising. Knew it was going to happen eventually. Uh, based on the discrepancy in value between MSRP and current market price, it's not surprising it sold out this fast on the Pokemon Center. Some people were saying, you know, potentially late 2024, early 2025. I didn't think it was going to be that long. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is um, probably a welcome sight. You know, when we look at um, the booster box price, $175, $176 right now. As you can see, it seems like tonight some people kind of got the memo, $186, $187. Uh, and you know what? You're going to see this price spike real quick. Now, before we get back into the grimy details of Lost Origin and what it is, just a reminder that Lost Origin is still in rotation. It could very easily still be reprinted. It could very easily come back into stock on the Pokemon Center. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it does come back into stock. You know, there's some more boxes that they find or whatnot. If that happens, I may actually just pick some up because why not? I mean, this basically signifies we're at the end of Lost Origin, uh, barring a reprint, obviously, which again, you know, Lost Origin is still in rotation, so it very likely could, you know, very likely, I don't know, but very possibly could still be reprinted. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're going to decide on what you want to do with your investments. But, you know, I'm sitting on I'm sitting on six cases of Lost Origin, so I'm obviously happy with this news. But uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, you know, when we look at uh, the booster box price and when we compare it to something like Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike, once it's sold out, popped up to about 245 at this point, which is just insane. Obviously, Chilling Rain's been sold out longer, but, you know, it's now pushing to 215, 220-ish. So it's really going to depend. I mean, a lot of people put Lost Origin above both of those sets. So if Fusion Strike's pushing 245, where is Lost Origin going to go? Now, obviously, there was a lot of speculation from people over the past couple of months that Lost Origin was going to sell out this year. Uh, I was talking about it as well. Which makes me think when so many people stocked up on boxes, is the demand going to be there post it selling out on the Pokemon Center for it to reach that 250 mark? Whereas with Fusion Strike, there wasn't that much talks once it sold out. Uh, a lot of people wanted the product and, you know, there's high demand, less supply. So we're really going to see what happens with Lost Origin in the next couple months. If you wanted to get in, I mean, you know, if you can still scrape some boxes up at like, 170 175 180 right now probably a good idea i mean like i wouldn't be surprised if this hits 230 240 you know if it reaches around fusion strikes level if it stays out of stock on the pokemon center i wouldn't be surprised by that at all so i mean it's up to you guys i obviously got in early so i have my position i'm happy with it uh, if it does come back in i will probably buy some more but i am happy with what i have Again, just a reminder of the cards in Lost Origin. We have the Giratina up top. You have the Aerodactyl, the Pikachu V Max, the Pikachu V, Rotom V, uh, and then some Giratina cards, uh, Galarian Berserker. Uh, it's not a super, super deep set. I mean, we've talked about this so much, but that top chase card in the Giratina, $342 now, insane. You know what, at the rate it's going to, the fact it just sold out on the Pokemon Center, like, fuck it. Like, this could definitely be a $400 card. Like, I think it's just going that way, you know? And, like, the way this market works in Pokemon and the way people are just so reactive to the news, you know, instead of being proactive beforehand, but just so reactive, I wouldn't be surprised if this reaches close to 400 in the next couple of months. I really wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and it is a beautiful card. People love the chase. We should also keep our eyes on the Aerodactyl V. I think that this guy could definitely push 100 as well. I mean, you look at its all-time high, it was above 120. So maybe it gets back to that point. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. Um, or if it does, rather. Uh, again, Giratina, you know, massive recovery as well. So, you know, this is really exciting. But again, guys, uh, one other thing I want to touch on. I don't have it brought up here, but what can we learn from this? Well... <laughs> There's still time. There's still time for a couple more of the sets, guys. If it's Lost Origin right now, in a couple months, it's probably going to be Brilliant Stars, right? So if you don't have your Brilliant Stars now, instead of chasing Lost Origin, instead of buying at 200, 210, you know, 
when you didn't get in, just get your brilliant stars at 143 plus stacks because that's you know that's probably going to be the next one up. I imagine uh, it'll sell out before Silver Tempest, even though there's a limit on Silver Tempest and there isn't on B stars. Uh, I think a lot of people will turn to Brilliant Stars before Silver Tempest. So, you know, that's something we can take from this. Put your money to work now into what is going to be value, more valuable in the future, right? You know, buying Lost Origin at 210, 220, you know, chasing it on the way up. Probably better just to go into Brilliant Stars, but it's totally up to you guys what you want to do with your money. But um, that's probably what I would be doing right now. Also, just to shout out, a couple of you guys had messaged me or left comments on my videos telling me that Lost Origin was out. I was I was already in, bre in bed, ready to go to sleep, and then, you know, I checked, checked YouTube Studio for those comments. So I'm making this video right now. That's kind of why my voice is really, you know, sounds groggy and I'm tired and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, welcome news. You know, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with Lost Origin over the next couple months. But, again, just remember... It's still in rotation. It could still be reprinted. It could definitely come back into stock on the Pokemon Center. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you in the next one.